Jamie and Skylar here, and we are at the St. Pete Pier. And today is actually the one year anniversary celebration at the pier, so we're excited to spend a day out here and see what's going on. And along the way, we're going to share some of the improvements and additions to the pier since it opened a year ago. And we're really looking forward to later tonight because that's when the Duke Energy Drone Light Show will be taking place. There's going to be over 300 drones in the sky at the same time. So be sure to stick around to the end to see the show. If you arrive at the pier hungry or thirsty like we did, we'd highly recommend starting the day off at Dock Forbes. With its island vibes and casual atmosphere, it's hard not to feel like you're on vacation when you arrive at Dock Fords. And if you're still having trouble feeling relaxed, one of Dock Fords' many rum drinks will be sure to help get you there. Skylar quickly decided on the featured rum cocktail, a dirty mojito made with brown sugar syrup and spiced rum, which he found to be smooth and very refreshing. Our food order was not as easy, but we eventually decided to split the seafood paella, and we did not regret it. You can find one of the newest upgrades to the St. Pete Pier at the waterfront just outside of Dock Fords. Here you'll find 20-some new boat slips, which we learned had been installed just a couple of months back. Open from 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. daily, the slips are available on a first-come, first-served basis and can be rented by the hour for a maximum of six hours. Additional information, including rates, can be located on the St. Pete Pier website. Another recent addition to the pier can be found just a short walk along the water from the boat slips. Here you'll find the First Flight Monument, a full-sized 16,000-pound replica of the Benoit airplane. The Benoit was a floating biplane that was flown from St. Petersburg to Tampa in January of 1914. And this wasn't just any ordinary flight. It was the world's very first commercial airline flight as the sole passenger paid $400 for the 23 minute flight across the bay. After checking out the first flight monument, we were ready for a break from the summer heat so we made our way to the pierhead, which we often find to be the windiest area on the pier. And in case the breeze isn't enough to cool you down, the pierhead has ice cream too. The birthday cake ice cream was excellent, and along with some iced coffee, this was just what we needed to re-energize and cool down. We found the area outside of Driftwood to be nearly empty and a great spot to relax while watching the boat sail by. And of course, we couldn't visit the pier head without stopping by Pier Tiki, which still offers the most amazing view of the pier and downtown St. Pete. Our next stop was the Tampa Bay Watch Discovery Center, which we always find to be another fun way to escape the summer heat. A new thing you may immediately notice when entering the Discovery Center is an ultraviolet shoe sanitizing station. But the new attraction that we were especially excited about was Bertha and Ruby, two rare ornate diamondback terrapins who are classified as a vulnerable species. After checking out the turtles, we were entertained by some lively stingrays and a variety of other fish that are local to Tampa Bay. We were also happy to find that the touch tank was now open, and we took advantage of the opportunity to hold a crab, a starfish, and a sea urchin. And after a quick stop by the lionfish exhibit, it was time to head towards Spa Beach, where the evening festivities would soon be commencing. One other new addition that you may notice is the designated tram lanes. We found them to be a welcome addition, which helps to keep the trams moving at a more consistent pace. Visitors may also notice that much of the landscaping has filled in since a year prior, and areas which were mostly mulch are now covered in lush, native vegetation. After a few more minutes taking in the many views that the pier has to offer, 
we made our way towards Spa Beach, where we found several food vendors and a band setting up on stage. Moments later, the band had started and the people began filling in to check out the show. And it didn't take Skylar long to find his favorite vendor, where the St. Petersburg Distillery was giving away free samples of their locally produced award-winning spirits. We were also happy if the all-good food truck was serving 100% juice spritzers, which was a nice healthy balance to our dinner of fried sushi and pizza. The people continued to roll in as we watched the sun begin to set over downtown St. Pete. Shortly after, we received our Duke Energy wristbands, which we were told would light up to the beat of the music. As the sun continued to go down, the DJ came on and the bracelets came alive, signaling that the highly awaited drone show was not far away. The show started off by resembling an alien invasion, but soon transformed into a remarkable and intricate display of lights, a truly amazing way to celebrate the pier's first anniversary. Thank you for joining us on our day of celebrating the Pier's one-year anniversary. If you're looking for more information on how to best plan your day at the Pier, please check out one of our other St. Pete Pier videos. If you're interested in additional St. Pete area content, please subscribe to our channel and turn the notifications on. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching!